What makes a good question good? Why doesn't it ever satisfy the way a conviction does? Why doesn't it impart an incandescent glow and draw lost moths to its semblance of a moon? Why do people say, that's a good question, instead of simply admitting, I don't know? Why does one good question turn into so many others the closer you get? Why can't it stay round and whole? When a theologian advocates living with the questions, should we presume he has a house full of cats? And is it wrong to prefer an uninterrupted sleep? What if all the best questions led only to despair? But how can we rid ourselves of them without a jarring realignment of molecules, like a hot iron fry pan going into the water? And how do you answer that brief, inhuman squeal?